BlueStacks is a software that you can install in Windows 10, which allows you to run Android app on your computer. The basic features of the software is free to use, while the more advanced features will require a paid monthly subscription. Although this is a solid performing platform, there are instances when certain issues can occur. There are several factors that can cause BlueStacks to crash on your computer, ranging from a corrupt software to outdated drivers. In this latest video installment of our troubleshooting series, we will tackle the BlueStacks crashing on Windows 10 issue and how to fix it. How to fix BlueStacks crashing on Windows 10 Before performing any of the recommended troubleshooting steps, it's best to restart your computer first. This action refreshes the operating system and remove any corrupt temporary data that could be causing the problem. First method is to make sure that your computer meets the minimum system requirements. For a list of BlueStacks minimum system requirements, you may refer to this list. Aside from that, BlueStacks also has a recommended system requirements to be able to run the program on your computer. You may refer to this list. Next, reinstall BlueStacks. One of the factors that can cause this problem is a corrupted BlueStacks software. If this is the culprit, then you will need to uninstall BlueStacks from your computer, then download and install the latest version from the official website. To do this, first press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Run Dialog box. Then at the Run Dialog box, type appwis.cpl and press Enter or click on OK. This will open the Programs and Features section. Next at the Programs and Features section, scroll through the lists of application and locate BlueStacks. Right-click on BlueStacks and click on Uninstall. Follow the on-screen instructions to remove the current version of BlueStacks from your system. Once the old version of BlueStacks has been uninstalled, reboot your computer. Once computer has completely reboots, go to BlueStacks website, download the BlueStacks installer, then follow the on-screen prompts to install the latest version on your system. Then, update your graphics card driver. You will need to make sure that your computer has the latest graphics card driver installed. To do this, first press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Run Dialog box. Then at the Run Dialog box, type devmanagement.msc and press Enter or click on OK. This will open the Device Manager section. In Device Manager, expand the drop-down menu associated with Display Adapters. Then right-click on your graphics card, and click Update Driver. In the next screen, click on Search Automatically for Updated Driver Software. After the updated driver is successfully installed, reboot your computer. Check if the BlueStacks crashing on Windows 10 issue still occurs. Next, turn off the antivirus. There are instances when the antivirus program will interfere with the operation of BlueStacks. To check if this is what's causing the problem, you should try to temporarily turn off the antivirus. In here, we will be turning off Windows Defender. If you are using other antivirus such as Avast, Bitdefender, Microsoft Security, Essentials, Asset, and McAfee you can refer to our website, thedroidguy.com or YouTube channel The Droid Guy for the steps on how to turn off your antivirus. To do this, first click on Start our Windows, then click on Settings, an icon that looks like a gear. This will open the Windows Settings section. Then at the Windows Settings section, click on Update and Security. Next at the left sidebar, click on Windows Security. Then at the Protection areas of Windows Security, click on Virus and Threat Protection. Then at the Virus and Protection settings, click on Manage Settings. Next, toggle off real-time protection. A prompt message appears if you allow this app to make changes to your device. Click on Yes. After temporarily turning off antivirus, check if BlueStacks crashing issue on your Windows 10 computer still occurs. Next, disable the Hyper-V service. To do this, first press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Run Dialog box. Then at the Run Dialog box, type appwis.cpl and press Enter or click on OK. This will open the Programs and Features section. In Programs and Features, use the menu on the left-hand side to click on Turn Windows Features on or off. 
in the Windows feature box, scroll down and uncheck the box associated with Hyper-V and click OK. Wait until the service is disabled, then reboot your computer. Check if the blue stacks crashing on Windows 10 issue still occurs. Lastly, do a system restore. In case the mentioned steps fails to fix the problem, then you should do a system restore to a point where BlueStacks was working without any issues. First press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Run Dialog box. Then at the Run Dialog box, type RSDRUI and press Enter or click on OK. This will open the System Restore Wizard. In the Windows Restore Wizard, click Next at the first prompt. Then check the box associated with Show More Restore Points in order to get a complete overview with all the available restore points. Select the restore point that is older than the date in which you started experiencing the blue stacks crashes and hit the Next button. Click Finish to start the restoring process. At the end of this procedure, your computer will restart directly in the older state. Check if the blue stacks crashing on Windows 10 issue still occurs. After following the methods mentioned, you have successfully fixed BlueStacks crashing on Windows 10 issue. I hope that this guide has been helpful. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future.